Oh, give me Chloe! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, no! Her, stop! Her, get it! Stop! Get, get her off! Get her off! The Young and the Restless. It's marking a milestone. 50 years in the soap opera world. And our Mo Rocca joined the party and the cast. Thank you for not messing with the theme music. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Who would want to mess with that? And if you did tweak it at all, what would happen? There would be an outrage. Planes would fly over CBS. This is page 13. Michael starts at the counter. Executive producer Josh Griffith was just 14. Take one. Kind of drag, isn't it? Stuck in a place like Genoa City. When The Young and the Restless debuted 50 years ago today. You're so restless. There are certain things that you leave alone. That's what keeps the connection to the history and the past with the fans. I've been watching this show since I was 15 years old. My dad is 88 and he still watches to this day. And it's the fans. We love it, the show is great. Like the ones we met at CBS Studios. I was in high school and I used to run home for half an hour, no VCRs, watch the show and run back to high school. That have made The Young and the Restless the most watched soap since 1989. About 3.7 million viewers tune in each weekday to gawk at. Get your skinny butt out of bed because we have some things to settle. And gush over. The goings on in Genoa City, Wisconsin. He used you like a common whore. You are pathetic! I still hear to this day, we started watching because of our grandmother. Mm -hmm. So it's that comfort feeling, maybe your grandmother's not here, but what you did with her is still here. For actress Laura Lee Bell. Yeah, but there was never any actual proof of that. Y and R, as the fans call it, is a family business. You sort of grew up on this set, yeah? I did. Hi, honey, good to see you. Her parents, William and Lee Bell, co-created the show. He would let his office door always be open, but we might be watching him do something like this. Oh, that's you with <laughs> so your head on the table that is there. Me. Yep. How big a hit did YNR become? <laughs> the Bells ended up living in a Beverly Hills mansion with a retractable roof. You push a button and you got fresh air. After a half century and more than 12,000 episodes, there's a lot of fictional family <laughs> drama to keep track of. Danny, I don't want to have this baby. So we asked producer Elizabeth Lebrun for a crash course on who's who, who's with whom, and who's been with whom. Victor Newman, Nikki Newman, they've been married in the course of the show, I believe, four times. Nicholas Newman, he was married for a long time to Sharon. To Sharon. They are currently divorced. Adam has been married to Sharon. Oh, Sharon married both brothers. Yes. Sharon, at one point, was married to Jack Abbott. Okay. Victoria has been married to Billy Abbott. John Abbott is not the biological father of Ashley Abbott, although he never knew that he wasn't. Am I correct that Adam is having a child with Sally? That's correct. Yeah. But Sally is dating brother Nick. <laughs> life in Genoa City is complicated, isn't it? It certainly is. And life for all soaps got complicated around 1995. Back then, there were 10 on the air. But that same year... If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. The whole OJ trial, that ultimately took our Nielsen numbers so low and never to be revived at that level because we didn't know we were watching the first reality show with OJ. Melody Thomas Scott has played stripper turned corporate executive Nikki Newman. I would advise that you keep your guard up and your eyes open for 44 seasons. I'm a dinosaur, but I love it still. I have so much fun here. Three, two. We shoot many more pages a day than a film or a nighttime show, but only certain people can do it. I can attest it's not easy. Captivating, simply captivating. Hello, Milton. It's been to prepare for my own scene, yes, they gave me a guest role, I rehearsed with my sound man slash scene partner, Carlos Asensio. And how's your wife? Sarah, is it? Excellent memory. We're divorced. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. 
I played Genoa City accountant and HR nightmare, Milton. If there was ever a chance for us, Nikki, this is it. Now, Milton, as I have told you before, it's, it's just not going to happen. Alas, there is no future for Milton and Nikki. Because Victor would squash me like a bug. As for the future of the young and the restless, it's a survivor, one of only four remaining soaps. Are you surprised that you're here right now? Deeply grateful. I would be lying to you if I told you that I'm not surprised. Eric Braden plays Genoa City's take no prisoners tycoon, Victor Newman. I'm gonna sit in the chair that you're sitting in right now. I like it, I want you out of it, and I want me in it. It's a medium that is obviously loved by millions of people all over the world, and yet not respected appropriately. You don't think it gets the respect it deserves? I mean, I don't give a damn, you know, whether I do, do, do or not. I really couldn't care less. But I know that, generally speaking, yes, it's sort of slightly looked down on. You want this chair? Sure, it's easy to mock the mayhem and the melodrama. Neither of us expected this. But that doesn't mean that I walk out on you. I love you. But millions remain mesmerized. The stare, the end of scene <laughs> stare. What is that about? I, I, I would miss it if it weren't there. Yeah, we've sort of moved with the times and I think you won't see as many of those, but the reality is we have to end the scene, so it has to be on a stair. Nikki Newman, you are a golden goddess.